as promised, we are back. We're going to continue working on our die. I guess we don't have multiple yet, so it's really just a die. But as I said before, our opposite sides are going to add up to 7. It's really the only rule that we're going to have to follow here. I'm going to move a little quicker since you guys have a little bit of experience here. But I'm still going to say out loud everything I'm working on. So I'm going to start with some guidelines the same way we did before. I'm going to press L to start my line. Click without moving the mouse. Let go of the click. Come down to the opposite corner. Click again. I'm going to make another diagonal here as well. And what that's going to give me is midpoints right here. Remember, our radius is 116. Right? Our radius is 116, which makes our diameter 1 eighth, 1 slash 16. Okay? Whoops, look at that mess up. Talk about learning opportunity. Control Z to undo. And I can go ahead and keep going for my 1 6. 1 6. So there we are. There's my 5. E for a race. I don't need any more of this jumping Jehoshaphat nonsense. Okay. Here we are. There it is. So there's my five man. Here's my two on the other side because five plus two equals seven. Some people, some people, they might think, well, for the two, I definitely don't need two. So I don't need two X's, but you do. Because if I draw another one here, what that does is divides this line segment in half. And the reason why I want that in half is because it's going to give me a midpoint on that line segment. So draw it in half again. You might have a little bit of extra erasing to do, but at least you know that your two and your five is placed properly. So we have the five, the two, the one, the six. Any guesses at what number we're still missing? If you said three or four, you are correct. So for the three, I would just start with a middle one. That can act as your divider, right? Oh, got a cheated one in there. Hey, yo, we need C for a circle. And this is going to be 1 slash 16. Away we go. And we can erase all of this unneeded guide work. There is my 3. And last, but certainly not least, is our 4 on this side. 1 16th. 1 16th. 1 16th. And one sixteenth. I'm gonna erase all of these now. Okay, there we are. Ta-da! We have all the sides done. We just need to add some depth now. We're gonna actually push pull all these dots in. I want you to press P for push pull and then click on that little dot. We can either pull it out or push it in. So for our dice. It's the same click and release as every other drawing command. I'm going to click and release so I can move this. And I want it to be going into the dice like any belly button. And we're going to punch this in 1 16th. Enter. You see that? Huh? Look at that. So that's in 1 16th. Now, if I hover over any other dot and I double click it quick, bang, bang, it's going to do whatever the previous push-pull command was. So it knows that I want it to go in that far. I want it to happen. So I'm going to double click. Remember, if we make a mistake, say you double click, you get click happy, and it goes crazy. If we make a mistake, it's just control Z to undo. It's not a big deal. Try to catch it as soon as possible. And there you are. Ta-da! Voila! We have a die. Good job. So the next video, we'll go over some more basic commands in getting to dice and multiple size and multiple colors, and then you'll be ready to start drawing your house. Thanks for tagging along. Thanks for learning some things. Look forward to seeing you at the next video.